Hey, let me fish. It's the 29th of November, 2018, which can translate out to 11, 11, 11. Just a note. Uh, something real interesting I just saw this morning. It was just put in front of me. Very interesting little pattern I want to share with you real quick here. Uh, uh, the reason this is up is because this story came back into the news yesterday, interestingly enough. The Hawaii false alert, okay? The, there is a, a man that is suing the state of Hawaii because he had a heart attack due to this false missile alert, right? Now, this is just crazy, and it's just what I see, and I don't know what it means exactly, but it's a pattern that points to this G20 meeting. Um, Trump tweeted out the other night at 11.53 p.m., right, seven minutes before midnight, that uh, he's wondering now, when are the trials for treason going to begin? And if you look at the crew here, this is quite extraordinary. You got them all, all of them, Clintons, Obama, Podesta, they're all there, okay? This, to me, is a very big deal. So he releases this at 11.53 p.m. on the 27th. The very next day, okay, now this, this tweet has been out for exactly 13 hours and 20 minutes as of the release of this article. From here to here. 13 hours and 20 minutes later, at 1.13 p.m. yesterday, they put out this article about a man says the missile alert caused a heart attack. At 1.13, the missile alert actually happened on 1.13, January 13th this year. Okay, He releases this tweet. 13 hours later, at 1.13, this article is released. Well... Get a load of this, right? This G20, which something in my spirit tells me that at the very least, they're going to make decisions at this meeting that are going to change a lot of things. And, I mean, something physical may very well happen because you're going to have the president and the vice president, if I'm not mistaken, out of country. Okay, so this kind of is an interesting scenario we got going on here. But what I wanted to show you was from that uh, Hawaii false alert in January 113, okay, up to the G20, which is on, which starts tomorrow, on 1130, 113, you see what I'm saying? From 113 to 113, right? The article came out at 113, the deep state panic panicking 13 hours after this was released. And lo and behold, from 113 to 1130, 113 is 322 days. The deep state is the skull and bones because they're demonic and worship Lucifer, Satan. Do you know what I mean? This is insane, you guys. Seriously, the skull and bones, the 322, Genesis 322. They think that they will take from the tree of life without judgment they're gonna bypass god right and that's what they're trying to convince the world just like the last video i did they're kind of convince the world that they can make you live forever 322 days exactly right and that's also exactly 46 weeks 23 46 so on and so forth you understand 88.22 percent of a year 11 11 11 11 11 11 times or 10 times that's just something that I had to show you because it's pretty crazy, I think. So I'll link all this. Use your discernment. But there's something pointing, in my opinion, at this G20. I'm not sure what. Could be anything, folks. Just always be ready. Always be in Christ. Always walking in that spirit, no matter what you're doing. Be grateful for everything. Now, I know we receive things like this in kind of like coded things, like Jesus used to speak in parables. And again, you know, I always refer to Scripture when I see things like this to, to try and bring some sort of verification out of it. And 
This is just really crazy because we know how all these pieces of this puzzle that we all see, it, it's almost similar to how Jesus used to speak in parables. And only certain people who are really seeking the truth will hear this. So you know how I always go for a random Bible verse. And this is just, this really sums it all up to me. Uh, this is my random Bible verse. Matthew 13, 13. Therefore speak I to them in parables. You understand? Because they seeing see not. In hearing they hear not, neither do they understand. Because they don't have that love of the truth. And that's where it begins. I'm just trying my best to, to put this stuff to people in a way that they can understand, you know. And this is like a parable, and, and I don't know exactly what it means. But this 113, 13 stuff, that, this has all happened within a half an hour of my coming out into the office here and seeing all this. So I have to share it. So there you go. This is interesting, you guys. I'm telling you, this is the beginning of some very, very interesting times. So just be aware. Be sober. Be vigilant. And uh, peace and grace to y'all. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 